guys, Joe One coming in with another battle replay here for Room 2. And yes, this is outside of the settlement. And there's a lot of cavalry out here. Lots and lots and lots and lots of cavalry. Because that's Ro Roxelani is on attack in this uh, siege. So welcome back to the land of sieges. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm kind of interested to see exactly how well Roxelani is going to do. I mean, if they can get inside the settlement, they could cause some serious damage. But all right, we are on the settlement of Kath. I'm pretty sure that the town center is here. Though, usually the town center is up here, but I'm not saying the circle. Um, so, maybe the town center is right there where the RDI general is at. But anyway, let's get into the army comps. We will start over here with Roxelani, who is being commanded by German Empire. He is bringing with him four units of the Thracian warriors, three Steppe Noble Lancers, three Sarmatian Riders, three units of the Steppe Horse Archers. He has one unit of Amazonian Riders, which is another Horse Archer unit. Uh, his general is actually a horse archer unit also, normal, uh, noble horse archer, sorry. Uh, he does have one unit of the Sarmatian horsemen, and he does have a ballista. He's actually attacking on two sides. He's actually got one of his Thracian warriors over here. going to be trying to knock down a wall section with this tortoise to allow some of these Sarmatian riders to get inside the settlement. It does not look like it is defended over here, so should be pretty interesting to see what he's going to be able to do. Let's get in with Seleucid real quick here. We'll start off. Seleucid here is being commanded by... Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. We have two Seleucids. Seleucid outside of the settlement. The attacking Seleucid is being commanded by Epic Eric. He is bringing with him five units of Thorax Swordsman, three Royal Peltas, three units of Hillman, two units of Royal... I'm sorry. Two units of Thorax Swordsman. He has four units of Syrian Archers. His general is a Hellenic Cataphract. He's also bringing one Azat Knights, and he does have one unit of the Silver Shield Swordsman. Then the final attacking ally we do have here is Egypt, who's being commanded by Project Valid. He is bringing with him five units of Thorax Swordsmen, three Galatian Royal Guard, two units of Hellenic Royal Guard, which you guys don't know, those are pikes, one unit of Egyptian Infantry, three Cretan Archers, one unit of the Slingers, two units of Citizen Cavalry, General is a Royal Thorax Swordsman, and he also has a Ballista. He's got a giant Ballista right there, which he's kind of leaving it out in the open a little bit right there, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see if the defending Seleucid will be firing over there. Let's get into the defenders. We'll start off here with RDI, who's being commanded by CST... Uh, CSTOR 12, maybe? CSTOHR 12. So... Hopefully I see Esther. I'm guessing that's what it is. He is bringing with him six units of the Noble Hoplites, one of those being his general. Four units of the Illyrian Marines, which if you guys don't know, those guys are basically Thoreo Spears, just beefed up Thoreo Spears. Four units of Axe Warriors, four Slave Slingers, and he does have two units of the Celtic Warriors. Defending Seleucid on the battlefield we have is Smoke Grenadiers. He is bringing with him a ton of Thorax Swordsmen, 14 units of Thorax Swordsmen to be exact, 4 units of Syrian Archers, 1 unit of the Thorax Pikemen, his general is also a Hellenic Cataphract. And then the final defending army on the battlefield, we do have Carthage, it's being commanded by Kolobakatulu, 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 I'm guessing. Nine units of Libyan infantry, two units of African pikemen, one unit of the late Libyan hoplites, three Cretan archers, one Balearic slinger. He does have two units of the Carthaginian cavalry. He's actually got a unit of the African war elephants. Oh, wait, no, he's only got one unit. No, he's got two. Two units of Carthaginian cavalry, one war elephant over there, and he does have his general there, which is a noble cavalry. So, 44 minutes, seven seconds of a battle. I didn't start it right off the bat because I kind of wanted to see exactly what Roxolani was going to try and do here. Does not seem there's going to, yeah, there's not going to be any sort of a move out. So I guess they're just going to press up and Seleucid here is not firing at a wide open artillery target here. I don't know why he's not. He could easily just turn, he could manually fire and hit this or if he wanted to, he could just turn, have it uh, press left alt right click and it would fire down over here on the ballista and definitely want to try and get rid of this because like i said before if roxalani is able to get into this settlement especially with all of these very heavy shock uh, cavalry and it, i don't know if you just saw that or not but um yeah these three have triple gold chevrons that is so scary 
That is really scary. I mean, they don't have the greatest of armor. Their armor is only 40. But um, that is really, 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 really scary. These guys, I've seen... Oh God, I've seen level Lancers get so many, so many, so many, so many kills. All right, so let's see what Seleucid is doing. The attacking Seleucid, he is going to start moving up his three tortoises that he brought. The one tortoise that's back over here for the rest of our Exolani is moving up as well. And they even have chevrons. Does everything in this army have chevrons? Yeah, these guys are all silver. Well, one of the, two of them are silver. One of them is triple bronze. My God, what were the funds on this battle to have that many... Like, gold... Jeez. Wow. That's... That's pretty crazy. All right, what are you doing? Are you firing? You're not even firing. Egypt, come on, man. This hole could have been gone. This wall could have been gone by now. Those look like, yeah, Thracian Warriors. They're probably going to come up and hit this corner, try and be able to make their way in there. But RDI does have it pretty well defended. He's got two units of his Lyrian Noble Hoplites going to be his front line. Another unit of Lyrian Noble Hoplites right back there. He's got some of his Slingers here. Might not be a bad idea to maybe put one of the slingers up on the wall so they can fire down. Probably would be a good idea. But Egypt is getting closer to the walls. Actually, wow, look at Egypt. He's brought his entire army up. I love seeing that. I don't see it very often, but I do love seeing the entire army being brought up at once. So everything is there. Everybody's ready to go. It's always good to see when commanders or generals, whatever you guys want to call the players, bring all of their armies up. But all right, so tortoises are going to start knocking down some walls here. 46, 31, 31. Got a nice little kill pocket here. Bunch of thorax swordsmen. They're going to be able to envelop these two. This might be a little bit of a problem. Hopefully he spins one of his thorax. Or actually he could just move one of these, both, both of these thorax up here. To plug this gap just so these guys don't take any damage from any sort of rear charges. Up on the wall though, we do have a unit of the Egyptian infantry have gotten up here. They did take out two of the uh, controllers or the guys <laughs> from the ballista crew here. Ballista crew cannot be used with less than three. Yeah, got to have three guys at least on the ballista in order for it to be used. Let's see what Seleucid's doing down over on this side. He's got three of his tortoises up. He is going to start bringing the rest of his army up, which is always good. Got some of the Cretan archers volleying up over into these hillmen, and they're actually taking a lot of damage. Wow. That is a lot of ammunition to be using on a pretty easy unit to kill, especially with what he's got sitting here. I mean, all that Libyan infantry would be able to crush these guys pretty simply, pretty easily. Wall actually did a little bit of damage to some of these guys, 147, 149. Might want to back them off the wall a little bit. Did they take damage? Nope, thankfully they did not. Like these guys. Interesting, no damage taken by them either. Hmm. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Wall is down, so this cavalry should start moving. Nope, not moving. Must be working somewhere else. Okay. Let's get over here. Are they going to come through the breaches? Yes, we have some thorax swords. So the hillmen moved out of the way. Good job. Oh, actually, Libyan infantry coming out. Very cool. Very cool. Libyan infantry actually just pouring out of the gate. It's got two units just making their way out. Are they coming out over here? Yes, they are. Another unit of Libyan infantry there. So just combat is exploding on this side between Carthage and the attacking Seleucid player. These archers are a little too close. Pull them back. Get these archers out of there. Get these archers back. Quick, quick, quick before they start getting losses. Let's see how Egypt is faring. He did bring some of his Thorax swordsmen through as well. But the Thorax Swordsman for the defending Seleucid. Ooh, are they be lining up for a Javelin Volley? Looks like we might be. Oh, that guy. Two to the face. Two to the face, two to the chest. Well, if you want to keep somebody down, that's how you do it. It's usually just two to the chest, one to the head. But you want to do two to the chest, two to the head? Go right ahead. Either way, that dude's not getting up. 
So we got some javelin volleys going on over on this side. Let's see how this is going. Okay, so he did good, good, good. He did bring these guys up. Oh no, 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 no. This Thorax Swordsman unit is getting broken very quickly. He's having to shuttle another unit of his Thorax Swordsman up here, trying to help and break this or hold this line. Though, good job by RDI, some of his Illyrian Marines getting some really good volleys in onto the back. That Thorax Swordsman definitely helped knock this one down. Look at that destruction. Just coming in. Oh, God. How many kills do they have? 45 kills, and they are still going. You just look, see that flag just starting to waver. It's routing now. Good thing he did get that other unit. The first Seleucid Thorax Swordsman unit did finally break. This unit is more than likely on their way out as well. Again, great job, Illyrian Marines. Thoreo Spears basically getting more volleys in onto the back of the second unit of Egyptian Thorax Swordsman. Great job. Let's see what's on going on down over here. Does look like... Oh, did he... He just charged the Thracians in. Okay, so he charged the Thracian warriors in there, and they pretty much got slaughtered. Doesn't really look like they did a whole lot of damage to anything. This unit down 21. This unit down 1. So not a whole lot of damage was done over on that side with a very, very powerful unit. Thracian warriors are very nasty, but here we go. Sarmatian riders inside the settlement. Where did the... Can't see the Thracians real quick. Okay. But here we go. What is going to happen here? Ooh, are they going to try and charge in on those elephants? That might not be a good idea. Or they're just going to sweep around on the bridge there and try and get it. Oh, that guy ate it. Yep, they're going to go right past the elephants. I don't blame them. No, keep going, keep going. Don't just stand there. Oh, please keep going. You're charging into the elephant. Okay. Rocks line. Oh, now he's pulling around. Pulling around here. This could be a problem. Sarmatian so Riders, I'm sorry, the Step Noble Lancers making their way over here towards the attacking Seleucid. And here we go. Where are they going? Looks like they're just looking for some, looking for archers maybe, looking for back lines. Carthaginian Cavalry now finally on the move, but I think they just got hit by the Draco, which drops something. I don't remember exactly what that drops, so I'm going to slow it down. Uh, drops their bonus first Cavalry and Elephants, that's what it is. Okay. So any bonus that they might have against Cavalry just gets dropped. Salvation Riders still trying to make their way through. Where'd the third unit go? Oh, they got caught up by a unit of Libyan Hoplites. And here comes the Pikes from behind. This Salvation Rider unit might want to pull out of there. Oh, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna. All right, so Roxolani has moved some units over on this side like we saw. So attacking Seleucid, actually getting in. Okay, so we have a foothold here. The attackers, Seleucid on this side, at least has a foothold. That is probably where the cavalry is going as that knight's making their way in. Let's get back over on this side, see how Egypt is doing. Oh, wait, there's a unit. Sarmatian land just came all the way around over here. How the hell did they get... How did they get through here? What? How? I don't know how they came... I guess they charged through the backs of the... I don't know. I don't know how they got over there, but they are 87 kills, 15 men left, getting cut down. Thorax Swordsman doing a pretty good job, but actually Thorax Swordsman not looking good, down to 43 men. Oh, a big Draco hit. Look at all of the defenders here now being affected. Good job there, and Sarmatian Lance is actually coming through with one final charge, getting into some of these Illyrian Marines and the Celtic mercenary Celtic Warriors, but they will be finding their way off the battlefield here now. Rest of these Roxolani troops, Ballista and the Giant Ballista still sitting here, not firing. Giant Ballista still has not fired. He could easily be firing right here if he manually fired. Or at least knock down a, another wall section. Could absolutely walk down, knock down another wall section and be able to get into the backs or at least press that unit of nobles back. Hope you guys are enjoying this battle so far. If you are, please make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Share the video around. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Over 3,000 subscribers, like I said. Just amazing. Amazing ride so far. Let's get into the fighting out here, though. I'm going to stop talking for a bit. Hope you guys enjoy some of this fighting. Of 
thorax swords were making their way out. So Carthage is... Oh, no, they came back out. They came back out. Oh, the Silver Shield Swordsman up there already. Okay. We got some of the Step Noble Lancers trying to break through, help break through this unit of Libyan infantry on this side. What is going on over here? Oh, no. Look at this. All three of the other units... I'm sorry, one of them is a Sarmatian Royal Lancer. The other ones are Step Noble Lancers. I do apologize for that. Back over on this side, though, here comes some more of the Roxolani crew, Thracian warriors making their way in. Should have actually a pretty good, pretty easy job against these Celtic warriors and Thorax swordsmen. Though with these Illyrian marines, nope, those ones are out. Oh no, no, they haven't fired yet, okay. 112 kills for this unit? Wow, that's insane. But here we go, Thracian Warriors, very solid, very, very good two-handed weapon unit. Especially with that triple, triple gold chevron. I mean, look at that melee attack right there. They will more than likely just cut right through these Illyrian Marines like they're not even there. You can see the first front line there is just getting slaughtered. But, ooh, 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 ooh. Seleucid actually getting a unit of his thorax swordsmen around somehow. Charging into the back, but uh, all for naught. Yeah, there goes that thorax unit right there. So the Thracian warriors are just going to continue on. Now, yes, they don't have the greatest of armor. Their armor is only 30, but that melee attack and weapon damage is just insane. Insane. So it looks like this might be the beginning of another breakthrough. RDI is going to start pulling his mercenary axe warriors and the other unit of Illyrian marines back to a better choke pointed area. Let's get over here though. Oh yeah, look at this. The attackers have taken out a lot of Carthage. A lot of Carthage. Let's see what Carthage still has left. He's got his pikes, Libyan infantry, pikes. He's still got the elephants though. That's good. Cavalry. Where's his general? Oh no. Where is the Carthaginian general? Oh, he's right there. Ooh, I didn't see him there for a second. I thought he was dead. But here we go, big charge of the Step Noble and Royal Lancers. Nope, they stopped. They saw the elf. Nope, they're going. They are still going to try and charge in or skirt around the elephants. Nope, yeah, they're going around the elephants. Citizen Cavalry here for Egypt finally made their way in. So, the, yeah, the attackers had a little bit. It was a little bit of a choke pointy kind of battle, but the attackers eventually were able to break through here. Actually, are we going to have a charge? Looks like we're about to have a pretty good charge. Ooh. Big charge there. Noble Lancers coming around. Hammering in. Hammering in onto that unit of Libyan infantry. Now, again, like I said, very heavy shot cavalry. You're going to want to pull them back out. Leave them in there for a couple seconds. Pull them back out. Hammer and anvil. You don't want to just leave them in melee. Because they will lose. They will lose. Even with the armor that they have, they will lose. Well, maybe not see. Oh, wait. Oh, he's breaking through. Getting into some of the Syrian archers. 94 kills. There wasn't a lot left in that unit. So, yes, Sarmatian. The Step Noble Lancers are really taking control right now. Already up over 100 kills. As that Knight's coming in now as well. So, what is Carthage doing? What is Carthage doing? Get the elephants out of there. I wouldn't have the elephants right there. Because all the attackers have to do is bring some archers up and fire at them. Oh, wait. The elephants are on the move. No. He didn't move. He kind of did, but he didn't. He did, but he did. All right, back over here. Roxolani inside the settlement. Some archer fire coming from some of those horse archers. Swinging all the way down over here. Seleucid, the attacking Seleucid and Roxolani inside the settlement as well. Egypt actually kind of took a little bit of a beat up there. He's got his Royal Thorax Swordsman, a unit of Cretan Archers, pretty damaged. So yeah, Egypt actually took a lot of damage in that attack. He still has his Hellenic Royal Guard, one unit of Galatian Royal Guard, but back over here, he had a lot of damage, not a lot of men left. Hellenic Royal Guard, Citizen Cavalry, Galatian Royal Guard. So all of his Thorax are dead. Wow. Wow. Well, it happens sometimes. It definitely happens sometimes. You gotta, you gotta lose some to win some. But look at that, yeah, elephants now out of control because the Carthaginian player left them alone. Should have pulled them back. They are going to start making their way towards these archers. If That would be hilarious if the elephants actually stomp this archer unit. Oh god, I think it's going to happen. 
Wow. Oh, God. Back, boys, back, boys, back. That's what it sounds like they were saying. <laughs> yeah, keep running, archers. Don't stop. Those elephants are right there, man. Keep going. They're out of control. So they will chase whatever. Syrian heavy archers, 152 kills. So they don't really even have any ammo. They do, but not a lot. Dude, please finish this unit off. Just please, Carthage. Come on. Get him. Ah, I don't think he's going to get him. All right, let's swing back around over here. Actually, wow, look at this. Citizen Cavalry coming in. Patrolling the streets. Going to get an eye on, see what's going on. Attack seems to be slowing down. Yeah, the attackers pretty much all stopped. It just started one unit of the Citizen Cavalry. So the defenders are going to pull back. Like I said, this is the town center here. 27 minutes, 22 seconds left in this battle replay. Get a little fast forward. Progress the battle a little bit. The elephants did go over there. They did stomp the crap out of those archers, but here they come. Actually, they found themselves... Oh, fantastic targets. Yes. Stomp these royal peltasts. There. Oh, there you go. Look at that destruction. Just murdered them. Skyrocketing over 200 kills now, breaking two units of royal peltasts. Oh, that is huge. Huge Carthage coming back big time right there. But again, Syrian archers. Thought he had a general over here. Where? Oh, that's right. They're pushed forward. Can't get to them. Heavy archers. These guys are probably going to go out of control. There they go. Out of control again. But maybe, just maybe, they'll go this way. Yips. Oh, Thorax Swordsman. You're going to have a bad day. Or not. Barely got past them. But, uh, oh, oh, oh. Elephant's turning around. More fire arrows in the back. Taking some losses. Down to 16 left. 227 kills, though. Oh, that guy just fell on a bunch of Thorax. That had to have counted for a bunch more kills. It didn't? Really? He fell right on them. That should have counted for more kills. Mm. All right, so back over here. Actually, we have some citizen cavalry that charged in on... Oh, noble hoplites. That's not a good idea. You definitely don't want to do that. Thracian Warriors, though, coming up. Triple Gold Chevron Thracian Warriors charging up. They are going to try their best to cut through some of these nobles, but they might kill some of them, but I don't think they're going to kill a whole lot. Just about to pull back. I'm glad I stayed in for that one. 202 kills so far for that unit. Wow. This is the cavalry over here. I think he's just kind of continuing to scout, seeing as far back as he can. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I don't think the Egyptian artillery really did anything. He didn't. He did nothing. That, that kind of sucks. Uh, and the step ballista is destroyed? Oh, that's rough. So they have no artillery to help them in this town center. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay, elephants are gone. Figured they were going to die. As that knight's here, they are capturing that town, that capture point, though. Morale point. Here we go. Here we go. We got some fighting down over here. Mercenary Axe Warriors backed up by some Malarian Marines taking on a unit of really beaten up unit of Thorax Swordsmen on this side. Don't know exactly what the attackers are planning here don't know what they're planning but they really I mean Seleucids really their only infantry left like I said Egypt has some the Thracian warriors are def would definitely come in handy but they need something in front of them they need some sort of infantry in front of them in order to be truly effective let's see what could the attackers do if I was an attacker right now if I was Roxolani I'd probably take one of these step noble lancers Come all the way down around over here, and hopefully these nobles didn't move forward. Come around and get a charge in there. Start trying to break this side open, and then 
if they live long enough, break through and come through here and just cycle charge as much as I could before they broke. That would, be, that would be my what I would do. I would try at least. As long as that noble unit didn't move forward, that would be my attempt. But here we go. Syrian archers have moved forward. 103 kills, so they have zero ammo left. Look at this. Thorax pikes. Moved up right behind the Illyrian noble. Oh, God. That is a team right there. That is a team. All right, so defend attackers, let's go. You got time. Here we go. It's got some silver shield swordsmen, thorax swordsmen pressing up on this side. I mean, where are his archers actually? Does he not have any archers left? He's got the one unit of Syrian archers there. He's got the other two here, 95, 114. This unit here with 152. So maybe he's out. No, he's not fully out. He's still got some more ammo. Should probably try and get some volleys in on something that would be a good idea to take out, like these pikes. Or he could start volleying in onto these slingers or the Illyrian marines there. Actually, nope, he's volleying up over here. Okay, good. Shooting into these slave slingers here. Going to try and drop some of their numbers. Not a bad idea. Roxolani is current... Oh, no, nope. never mind. That plan's over. Noble Hoplites and the Noble General are actually moving up. They're going to block... This is going to get blocked off right there. Had a chance, had a chance, didn't take the opportunity he was given. What is Egypt doing over here? Oh, he's capturing towers with the archer units. Okay. Okay, let's get back in over here. Thracian noble, I'm sorry, Thracian warriors, another unit has been charged in, but here comes the pikes now. Pikes are moving in, those Thracian warriors are, they're pretty much dead anyway, but these pikes are just going to come in. Look at that. Oh, such a cool line. Such a cool looking line right there. I want to get right about here. Look at that. See nothing but spear tips. Nothing but spear tips. That would be devastating. Devastating. 20 minutes, 34 seconds left. Seeing some more. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What do we have going on over here? Step Noble Lancers are going to try and charge in. Silver Shield Swordsman should move and allow these Step Noble Lancers to get a good charge in onto that Axe Warrior unit. But they're just going to smash right into the back of their ally, which I guess not that big of a deal. Breaking on through, hitting into these Illyrian Marines, and actually breaking through the Marines also somehow. Not sure how that happened, but here we go. They're going to charge into the center, get met by some more Illyrian Marines. And look at this. Oh, please tell me you're not just pulling through, dude. Okay, he's coming back. Charging back into these axes. No, he's not. He's pulling through. So Armation Royal Lancers have pulled through this unit of Illyrian Marines. 120 men. That sucks. That sucks when that happens. That's really not cool. But yeah, they're going to get into some of the Syrian archers here for the defending Seleucid. Some more of the Illyrian Marines moving forward. Actually, two units. So two units broke through this and that unit of Illyrian Marines there. Good thing Thorax Pikemen have shuttled their way over, moved their way over here. These Step Noble Lancers are dead. 115 kills. The other unit died too. No, yeah, they're dying. Other unit there, 88 kills. Down to 12 men. They will be gone. Looks like So his three most powerful units on the battlefield are pretty much gone. Two of them are gone. Two of them are completely gone. Illyrian Noble Hoplite's not going to have a difficulty at all against these Thracian Warriors and Rhodian Slingers. You guys got to need to look for angles. You have to find opportunities. Opportunities aren't going to show themselves. Well, they will, but you have to see them. Like, you got to look for them. I think still that, that would have been a big play for Roxolani to come around come through there and get into the backs on this side before the uh, Noble Hoplites move forward. Okay, thankfully he's pulling this one unit of Noble Lancers out. They only lost 20 men, they have 68 kills. Okay, hopefully he doesn't leave them too close though so they'll continue getting shot. Doesn't look like they're taking enemy losses. Alright, what do we have over here? Step, uh, the, uh, the Archer Cav 4 
Thorax Alani getting some good volleys in, hitting the, starting to shoot into these uh, Thorax pikemen who have gotten their pikes out or put their pikes away somewhere. Not sure exactly where they hide their pikes. We're not, we don't ask those kinds of questions. We just, we just know that they're hidden. Because see, they just magically appear again. There, whoa, whoa. all right. Who do we have here? Galatian Royal Guard moving forward. Thracian Warriors, see there we go. So Galatian Royal Guard, two units of those with the Thracian Warriors behind them. That's big. Oh, we actually have the uh, Cantabrian Circle now being. Cantabrian, Cantabrian, Cantabrian. I don't know exactly how to say it. I think it's Cantabrian. Let's just pause this for a second here. Let's see. Cantabrian. Cantabrian Circle. Okay. So Cantabrian Circle is now in effect here. We actually have the Hellenic Royal Guard. Both units of Hellenic Royal Guard moving their way forward. Royal Thorax Swordsman back there. This is... Yeah, I figured... I was waiting for Carthage to come out with his cavalry sitting over there. We saw the archers sitting over here. I was waiting. Citizen Cavalry is being... Oh, man! Egypt is finally firing his artillery. 24 kills. Here comes another shot. Is he just trying to hit the Carthaginian? Nope. He's firing way over here. Missed. But yeah, these guys are... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do we have? Step Noble Lancers. We charge in on the general, which is also a very heavy shot cavalry, but unfortunately for Roxolani, Carthage also has two units of medium melee cavalry, which they will absolutely destroy these lancers. Look at that. Down to 44 men. They were at 60. They've gained five more kills since the last time we saw them, and they are just dropping quickly, very, very quickly. Comes the horse archer, noble horse archer, general for Roxolani. He's swinging around because he's going to try and get some shots in on the Carthaginian general, who's lost uh, not a whole lot of men. 21 men so far. 22 men now. But yeah, that unit is gone. Only 79 kills. Again, I, I, I'm 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 going to. Last time I'm going to say it. I'm not going to try and harp on it again. That probably would have been a fantastic play for Roxolani to make to come around before the hoplites move forward before these Libyan hoplites got over there it probably would have been a huge move to get around the back over there but let's see we got some pike combat going on Hellenic Royal Guard taking on some Thorax pikemen And the Thorax Pikemen are definitely outmatched from the Hellenic Royal Guard. Definitely outmatched. So here we go. Line is broken. Moving forward onto a unit of the Noble Hoplites who are not in their Hoplite formation. So I don't think that their melee defense... They're, I'm pretty sure... Well, actually, their armor is pretty solid. Never mind. I forgot. The 115 armor. But keep moving. Hellenic Royal Guard, move forward. Don't just stop. Gotta keep going forward. Drop the pikes. Drop the pikes. There you go. Now you can start doing work. 205 kills for that unit. This unit over here, 153. So very well done so far with these pikes. Carthage back over there, though. Look at that. Carthaginian Cavalry and the Noble Cav Gen. They're coming around outside the settlement. Actually, it looks like they're going after the, uh, the artillery crews that were left out there. Not a bad idea. Thracian warriors charging in here with the Hellenic Royal Guard. Not a bad idea. Not a terrible idea. Pikes moving forward. There you go. Progress. 208 kills. A couple more. A couple more. Glacian Royal Guard, 253 kills. Looks like that unit's on their way out, though. This unit here, 308 kills. Wow. Whew. Egypt is hitting heavy right now. Uh, oh, RDI getting out over here, getting into some of these Syrian archers. 168. They are out of ammo. What is this? Thorax Swordsman unit. So it looks like the attacking salute. No, attacking salute. You still got guys back here. Move these men up. What are you doing? 
Go! <laughs> Sorry. Get up there, man. What else does he have over here? As at night? Oh, man. As at night are melee, right? Very heavy melee. Charge into that general. Hit the general. Don't let the general get the charge bonus, but no. Oh. Uh, Seleucid is breaking through that unit of Syrian archers, and here we go. Charging over here, and they're going to get the charge bonus onto the Azat Knights and this unit of Syrian archers. That's gigantic. Look at that. Azat Knights, they were at 30, now they're down to 20. That fast. That fast. Down to 19 now. Syrian archers just getting absolutely obliterated. Not sure why the Roxolani General... Oh, Roxolani General's over here shooting at the General. At the general. Okay. That makes sense. But, yeah... Carthage General, I'm sorry, Seleucid General is now just wrecking house. Look at that. Shattering units like they don't mean a thing to them. 114 kills. Getting in, looks like he's getting into the Step Archers now as well. Wow. Seleucid General bringing it back on this flank. Seleucid, the attacking Seleucid just sitting here. I mean, he could absolutely use his general to come over here and help. But, oh no, Carthage. Carthage came all the way around. I thought they were going to. Here comes the general, the other unit of citizen ca uh, Carthaginian cavalry, and there's the final unit there. They are going to start coming around, digging into the backs. But still, there's 1121 left in this battle replay. So a lot. There's still a lot more to go. A lot more to go. Royal Thorax swordsmen for Egypt have gotten involved, helping out this uh, Hellenic Royal Guard unit down to... What are they down to? 224 kills with 63 men left that don't see the other units, so I guess they got wrecked also. Croatian Warriors, 26 men, 122 kills, running away. But yeah, Noble General getting in onto the Syrian archers, also in on the Amazonian riders as well. 73 kills for him. What's the Seleucid General up to? Yep. He's still going. 211 kills now with the Carthaginian Cavalry coming in and aiding him as well. I still don't know what Seleucid, the attacking Seleucid player, is doing. This... Yeah, I... Uh, I hope he DC'd. I wonder if he DC'd. Maybe he did. Or he just gave up. I'm not sure. But Roxolani's still pressing forward. Helping it out. Here comes some more Thorax Swordsmen there from the defending Seleucid. Gonna charge in. Looks like they're gonna lock this Step Horse, step horse Archer unit up. Also getting in onto the flank of the Royal Thorax Swordsman General there. Linux Royal Guard's still there. They're moving forward again. Guess they didn't fully break. Somebody's still trying to just try. Oh, that's the Hellenic Cataphract General for Carthage, uh, Seleucid. 239 kills. Digging in on the back here, getting some good kills on the Royal Thorax Swordsman General. Hellenic Royal Guard, there they go. They're starting to waver. How is it possible that this battle continues on for another nine minutes? I, I don't understand. Because the attackers are pretty much dead. Linux Royal Guard, there goes the Egyptian general. So the only thing that's still left here, we have the Roxolani Step Ballista, uh, Ballista over there, some Syrian archers from the attacking Seleucid, Royal Peltas, the both units of the Thorax Pikemen and the Hellenic Cataphract General, and a broken unit of Thorax Swordsmen that have come back that are still sitting back there. Uh, I'm going to get a little fast forward here, and we'll see what happens. This is over. This is obviously over. I'm not going to make you guys suffer through this, through the rest of this replay here, but fun battle. Definitely a fun battle. Um, Roxolani on attack. That was interesting. I think Roxolani missed out on a couple opportunities there. This, right here, I'm saying last time, this was a huge opportunity that he missed out on. He could have brought a unit or two around over here. Even if he brought two, he could have charged one of the units into the Illyrian Hoplites and gotten that second unit around back over here. Caused a bunch of headaches here. Could have plowed them in through the center. 
yeah, I think Roxelani missed out on a lot on, on a couple on a couple of opportunities. Nothing crazy though. Maybe he's a newer player who's never played as Roxelani before, or you just didn't see it. But all right, guys, I'm going to cut it here, and we will get to the uh, army comp screen at the end of the battle. So I'll be right with you guys. Hold on. All right, guys, here we go. Costly victory for the defenders at the end there. Let's take a look. Smoke Grenadiers. Seleucid is actually the guy that sent a replay in, so thank you very much, Smoke Grenadiers. Definitely a fun battle to watch. His general there, 329 kills. His archer's not getting a whole lot. Top unit there, 94. Thorax Pikeman, 115. Let's take a look at the rest of his Thorax Swordsman. Uh, actually, 105, 95. Mm, Silver Shield Swordsman, actually, over here with 81. Right, I'm looking at the right army, right? Yeah, okay. There is two Seleucids, so I just wanted to make sure. Uh, then we can take a look at RDI here. His Slinger's doing pretty good, 136, 86. Not a whole lot of kills, but kills where they were needed. Illyrian Marines, 123, 146, 123, 94. Hoplites, 137, 135, 202. Good job there. We got 122 here on a unit of Mercenary Axe Warriors. And we have Kolo Bak Tulu. Tutu? Kolo Baktutu. There it is. Okay. His general there, 115 kills. Elephants, 255. I think he just kind of, in the beginning there, just letting them run rampant, though. Wasn't really using them as effectively as he possibly could have. So, if you do, if you do end up watching the replay, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just giving my advice. Uh, Carthaginian Cavalry, 172, 159. Archer's not a whole lot. But I think that's because of the pull-through there from uh, Roxolani. Pikes, unfortunately, not a whole lot of kills. Libyan Infantry, 105, 123, 128. Not too bad there with his frontline infantry. Getting into the attackers here, we'll start off with the attacking Seleucid. His general, 44 kills. I think he I think he left. I think he just walked away because the rest of, just to tell you, the rest of the replay was the counterfracts, the two units of pikemen just continuously getting charged and breaking and then coming back outside of the city and getting charged again. So I think Seleucid left. Uh, his archers did fairly well, though. 169, 114, 104, 152. Royal Peltas before they got stomped by those elephants. 195, 185, 230 on the silver shields. And his thorax swordsman, 143, 99. Then we get Roxolani here, which definitely a different look or a different sight for Roxolani on attack. So I'll give German Empire that. But the pull through there with the noble lancers and the royal lancers, not, not cool. Definitely not cool. Uh, not a whole lot of kills. His general only 89. His horse archer's not a whole lot. Sarmatian horseman 91 there. Noble Lancers 118, 170. Thracian warriors 211, 122, 146. And then we'll get into Egypt here with Project Valid. His general 127 kills. His cavalry 37, 17. His archer's fantastic. 193, 168, 193, 175. Great job. Galatian Royal Guard 336, 248, 253. Even if Spikes did very well, 245, 255. Uh, unfortunately, his Thorax did not do very well, though. But all right, guys, that's the end of the battle replay here for today. Like I said earlier, I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the videos around. Would deeply appreciate it. Thank every single one of you guys for your support, your continued support, your new support. Also, I've noticed that the... Uh, there's, a, there's some of you guys out there that are watching the videos that haven't subscribed. Feel free. It's a button to click away. Just click that subscribe button, guys. I would deeply appreciate every single one of you that would do that now. Thank you guys very much. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.